Hello, welcome to the seventh edition of the New Day One Show. Yeah, thanks for coming back and being here. Um, uh, like we've been doing every day last week, we're going to be doing um, a short inspirational message and a snippet of one of my original songs. Today's theme is the presence of love. And um, I think this is a really important message for the time that we're going through with the uh, pandemic and uh, the economic changes that most all of us are feeling drastically uh, because uh, things like this can lead us to fear, to uh, doubt, to uh, anxiety, uh, all kinds of stress uh, can, can occur. And, and it's all really happening inside of here because everything out there, if you just look at God's world of trees and plants and animals, that pretty much has not been changed. Uh, I'm sure all of nature got a little stirred up over that earthquake um, a couple weeks ago. But um, so my continual challenge for me is to ask myself, am I operating right now in the presence of love, the presence of peace, the presence of joy? Because those three things are God's will for us. Absolutely. Um, in fact, Jesus said, be anxious about nothing, but in all things, through prayer and thanksgiving, Make your request known to God that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding may guard your hearts and minds. So, uh, and that's, boy, that's something I really want in my life. The peace of God, are you kidding me? Because I think he's probably really okay with everything and everyone. He just, you know, God knows he's got it. And I just got to trust as a great-grandfather's spirit, my father, your father, that he's got us covered as parents try to cover so so much their children and protect them for having any reason to fear or doubt. So uh, a couple things I do do to help <laughs> to help that along is of course prayers, thanksgiving, supplications to God. Um, also there's the Hawaiian uh, prayer of forgiveness, Ho Opono Pono, um, that basically consists of I love you, thank you, I'm sorry, Please forgive me. You just say those to yourself, to whatever thoughts you're struggling with, whatever perceptions, feelings, uh, whatever pain is going on in your body. Um, and uh, it's just a form of cleansing it's to get the mind back to zero so that you can actually hear the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And um, so I'm continually asking myself the question, am I operating out of the presence of love or am I caught up? Am I thinking about tomorrow or next week or next year? Um, and especially for the businesses that are really going through it and the families that, are, that own these businesses, um, I really lift them up in prayer every day that they would just find uh, the peace to be able to get through this, the trust that, um, you know, trust is a big word. And uh, I believe faith leads us to trust if we're growing in our faith. Uh, so that, that's my snippet of a message for today. Hope you found it useful and beneficial. And now we're going to do a snippet of one of my original songs called Keep Your Soul. You got yourself a princess You got yourself a prince Mother Earth Beneath your feet And a starry, starry crown above your head no need to ever complain or ever stay yourself. Got to keep your song alive. Making music for Thank you for being here. See you tomorrow.